Oh, look at that, caffeine. So that's a new Pokemon. And I think this is the new Pokemon that actually evolves into Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Eternal Order Shiny Lock. We are throwing down once again. So be sure to hit that like button down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you missed the last one, we took on the ground type gym leader Snaggy, our second badge, and raise your level cap to 30 with this really cool squad of Pokemon. And we're gonna kind of dive right back into things. Big shout outs to all the A Drive Army Plus members over on A Drive Live. Don't forget about the awesome giveaway we have going on. And don't forget to check out TeamShiny.com for some sweet t shirt, merch, and more. TeamShiny.com, swag out your closet, use code Arceus to get 15% off your shirts. This guy's here. He says, That's Tanelia's gym badge. That's mighty impressive of you to defeat the Gray. I think you might find good use for this. And we get the pickaxe, which is probably like Rock Smash, I would imagine. Yep, so we can explore the Celia Tunnels, we can open up some roads, and use it to enter Melodia Hill and get to Walshin City. So that seems to be where we're headed, and uh, we're going south here as well. I uh, never ended up getting that Rotom, so I think I'll probably continue the Rotom hunt after I swap some things around with my team. All right, so I just put in another 100 encounters. I'm at 175 for Rotom with, with no luck. So I'm gonna come back to it. Um, I wouldn't put it on my team right now anyway. I think this way is where I need to go, the Celia Tunnels, but we already did Celia Tunnels, if I'm not mistaken, up here. I think it's all considered the same thing. Yeah, these are the Celia Tunnels. So I don't believe I get a new encounter, but I can press forward here. I can also rock smash from areas that I was previously at. So we're gonna... Exp I, I spend 100 encounters on, 175 encounters for Rotom. Can't get him, and then I find a shiny Geodude that I can't catch. So there's that. <laughs> I guess that's just how today's gonna go, guys. Oh wow, we just went out to a place called Hidden Hill. So this is a new place for us to get encounters, and this is pretty dope. TM40 Aerial Ace, big pickup there. And I can start counting encounters here in Hidden Hill with a Mankey. I think it's a good time to ask our question today as well. Uh, who's your favorite uh, fighting type Pokemon? Uh, why are we asking about fighting types? I actually have no idea. We just faced the ground type gym, but for some reason I'm asking about fighting types. So that's the question of the day. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. For me, it's Heracross. Oh my God, Unknown is here. Why do I feel like Unknown is probably like buffed in this game? I feel like it probably is buffed in this game. Do I get a lot of XP for that? 500! Oh, I like it, I like it. So we get some Jaboka berries as well. We'll have to see kind of what encounters we have here, what these other berries are as well. Roat berries, okay, and I'm gonna check the honey tree too. Ooh, Volbeat is an electric type in this game, very cool. And Illumise is a fairy type in this game and will give me some good XP, so please, thank you. 500 X, oh my God, please. Focus energy is appealing, but I think I'm gonna stick to what I have, but some good, good XP in this patch of grass. Yeah, Shiny Solosis, baby nuke is here a good friend of mine. I'll hit him with a fake out just to chip him a little bit and then I should be in pretty good shape to catch him. I'm gonna switch out to be safe. I'll go to Mirror just in case he's got a really big psychic move, but I'm a big uh, Reuniclus fan. Uh, I think this is a cool Pokemon. 59 encounters, not too shabby. I got some cool Pokeballs here. I could potentially use, I think a Dawn Ball. I only have one of those though. Let's use just a Great Ball. I think we'll be fine. Should be able to catch the Solosis pretty easily and we do very good pokemon with a great normal ability and obviously uh, just overall very solid detect i'll pass on that and i like it i like it i'm gonna name it nuke and then i can get out of this hidden valley but it was a great place to train let me tell you and we actually got some babiri berries which could be a sign for the next gym being steel type and we're actually out in the sunray path now as well so i don't know where this is in really oh the Shell Bell, yo. Okay, I remember this. This is actually a route that we had traveled on much earlier in the game, and we just picked up the Shell Bell as a very solid item for battling. So I'll definitely take that. Okay, so I think we can just press onward here outside of Celia. I think I did everything there, and now we've got a new route here, which is called Melodia Hill. And this is where some of the tough trainers were according to kind of one of the people before. So I guess we'll see how tough you are. How good are you, Picnic or Sarah? You've got an Oddish. My shrimp here does not care about your Oddish because he can bounce higher than you've ever seen before. 
And you cannot hit me with your sleeping powders. Goodbye, Oddish. You have been destroyed. Fire gets a nice level there, and here comes a Croconaw. Uh, I do have Bites. I think I just bounce again, honestly, because it's so strong. Level 17, though. Let's see how much this does. Almost knocks him out, does snag a Para, but he has Torrent, which actually cures his paralysis because he's below a certain amount of health. So some of these different abilities have different buffs, which is kind of cool. And a Kakuna is last, which is bounce fodder once again. Obviously doesn't evolve to level 20 in this game as we learned firsthand here, but I missed. And I'm gonna get bug bitten, but I think our bounce will finish it off. So I'm gonna travel down this route. We'll see what kind of other trainers are in front of us. We do have a new encounter here on the hill. So we'll see how that all kind of shakes out. But so far, not too shabby. And we come across TM100 Water Pulse. Could be handy. So far the grass, I've only seen Mime Juniors and Ponytas. But I did just face a trainer with a Scyther and a different trainer with a Heracross. So I think maybe getting the encounter in the Honey Tree might be the play. Um, but we'll got a few more trainers in front of us. Oh, look at that! Caffeine! So that's a new Pokemon. And I think this is the new Pokemon that actually evolves into Miltank and Tauros, if I'm not mistaken, in this game. That's kind of sick that we just found that here. That makes me kind of want to go for it. I was looking in the honey tree and I wasn't having any luck uh, trying to get a Spinda, which is kind of cool. But there's another Caffeine, so I could try to hunt this Caffeine Pokemon. Uh, I'm a little torn on this. I'm just going to keep looking around. Chingling could be kind of cool too, actually. I like Chimecho. Yeah! Shiny Chingling, baby! 123 encounters. Took a while. A while, ladies and gentlemen. But I finally got a shiny. That's what we're looking for. I'll go mirror here. I'll hit it with a little fake out action and then we'll uh, chip it away and hopefully secure this capture without too much of an issue. Yeah, that doesn't really do too much. And maybe a great ball will work. So two psychic types today. Uh, can't complain. Psychic types very good. We'll have to see what kind of the upcoming gyms have. Oh, it's got the disarming voice. We'll have to see what those upcoming gyms have. But ultimately, I'm not complaining. Psychic one of the best types in the game, obviously. And I like Chime Echo, so no complaints here. And there we go, Wind Chime is ours, baby. I'm gonna name it Breezy. I like it. Ooh, set this year. Did you get your second badge yet? You're really a slow trainer. I guess you're not that different from all those generic trainers that I keep on seeing. They're all so pathetically weak. I might as well just train against wild Pokemon for my gym battles. But hey, I'll know for certain how measure up against them after I beat you in a battle, right? Come on. All right, I guess I'm battling against our rival Seth here. He's got four Pokemon and he's got a Kranidos to kick it off, which is a massive problem because Kranidos is very strong. I do have Brawly, which was this rock type move. So I'm gonna go right onto him and hope he can hold it down against this rock tomb from a Kranidos. That did a good amount of damage. Um, I don't have any fighting moves. So I do have Bulldoze though. So I'm gonna fake out, get a little chip. And then I'm gonna hit him with a nice, uh, gosh, he, he picked up a fossil. I'm gonna hit him with a nice bulldoze here myself and hopefully take this headbutt. I do, I don't get a speed drop, which is nice. And my bulldoze is very good. Uh, now, the question is, do I predict another headbutt and switch out into something that can outspeed him like shrimp? I think I do. I'm gonna make the play into shrimp. I'm gonna get the intimidate off now that he's slowed down. Not gonna rock tomb, presumably, right? Like he's gonna headbutt again. He rock tomb the switch! Oh my goodness. That is actually really bad. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in hidden force. It should be faster. I just got predicted. I just got predicted this game playing no games today. It is a game though that plays games. Okay. Anyway, three Pokemon left. Here comes Frogadier. Shiny Frogadier, by the way. Kinda wanna just hit him with a bounce. He's gonna lick. Doesn't do much. Bounce is really strong. I'm also two levels up. Here's a water pulse, he misses. And I connect my bounce. Big damage. Actually lands a para, almost knocks him out. But his torrent is gonna cure his status. Then I just dragon rage. I'll take a water pulse, but we can eat that. And it shouldn't be too bad. He does land a confusion, so I'm gonna have to switch. But I'll hit a Dragon Rage and finish off the frog. And I'll take a little bit extra damage. I'm gonna have to switch out now and I probably cannot use my Intimidate anymore. Um, two Pokemon left and it's Kadabra. I have a very good Kadabra answer in Mirror though. 
Uh, Fake Out plus Snarl looks really strong here. And he's probably going to Psychic move. Yes, there's the Psy Beam. He could have like a Fairy type move. But I do think Fake Out plus Snarl here should be A-OK. -okay. Oh, he's in her focus. With Hidden Power, whatever that was. Hidden Power Fairy, apparently. Um, Do I want to be a baller and go... B drive here, or do I want to go luck and struggle bug him? Ooh, I think I want to go luck. Luck should be able to take a hidden power fairy. There's no way he's, he predicts. Yeah, he just goes for hidden power again. We take that really well. Uh, we actually resist. And now I can go for either aerial ace. I'm going to go for the sharp beak aerial ace and just destroy him, dude. Let's get it. Okay, and what's your last? It is a rufflet. Uh, okay. Um, now, obviously, rufflet's pretty good against me. Uh, all things considered. I'm gonna go... I mean, he wants to go for a fly move. Actually, rufflet's really good against me. Um, yeah, I don't... I mean, pyre is my answer, but... I think we shouldn't forget how, how offensive rufflet is. Like, rufflet is very offensive. So even if I go Pyre and go for like HP Ice, he's gonna still hit me pretty hard. I don't think Shrimp is a safe switch in here. I think I just have to trust that Pyre can take the hit. I think a Wing Attack is gonna be a 2 hit KO though. I don't know how good this is. Wing Attack, this might be a 2 hit KO, let's see. Oh, it's not, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Hidden Power Ice is really good. Um, this should probably two shot, it does. And we can attack again. We take it though. And I can hit power ice and finish him off. Okay. Woo! That was a spicy battle. That was a little spicy there, but uh, we, we come out on top and pick up a W against our rival. I suppose you're a bit different from the usual fodder I'm used to facing. So I'm gonna test you every once in a while. See you later. Peace, bro. I'm gonna go back to this trainer and heal up. And we're actually in Walsh and City already. And it's Seth. Uh, get over here. Celia's Pokemon Champ Axel Champ Axel's right there. He's talking to a trainer. Let's get a better look. Huh, your team is certainly strong. It shows you already have three badges. But a real trainer's duty is to fight alongside his Pokemon, not to use them as tools. If you keep treating your Pokemon so coldly, they might even turn against you. I'd say you need to tread more lightly. Huh, I'd hope I'd got the champ. I hope that if I ask the champion for advice, I might get a different answer, but it's all the same in the end. You know different than the common trainers I've met. It doesn't matter. One day I'll defeat you in my own way, and then I'll confirm my true potential. Yo, this Neo guy thinks he's better than the champion, Axel. Who does that guy think he is? He can't talk to the champion like that, can he? You say you met that guy and you fought him? Excuse me, were you two eavesdropping on our conversation? Uh, don't worry, it's all right. That guy, he's the brother of a good friend of mine. He's a good trainer, but he's also a very harsh one. He asked me, sir, some, he asked me for some advice, so I gave him my thoughts on his methods. Though, really, I believe all trainers should just do the way they see fit. There are many roads to victory, but the most important thing is reaching the end of those roads, right? Uh, sorry, I went on a rant there. My name's Seth, and this is my friend a -Drive. We're both from Nora City, and we're competing in the Pokemon League. We already won two badges each. That's pretty impressive, right? Two badges, that's not too bad. The more you collect, the harder it'll be to get them, so you guys should prepare yourselves. I'm pretty busy with some stuff I need to get done, so I wish you both good luck. Alrighty then. He's so cool, you'd never know that he was once a member of a criminal group from our region, right? Because of that, the rumors are going around that many people don't like him, but I don't believe any of that. After all, he was the one who put the end to the, the, the team. One day I'll become a trainer I'll become a trainer better than him and I'll fight him for his champion title. Alice is also around this zone, so she'll probably want to rematch with you. Ooh, so we're gonna have to battle Alice. We find out that Axel is the champion, but he's also previously the member of the evil team. So, a couple things to make note of. Very, very interesting. And what do you have for sale? Timer balls and level balls. Uh, I think the timer, I'll grab a few of those and then I'll just see what else is here. But I think we're in the town for the next gym. Oh, I guess there is no Pokemon gym here, just kidding. Ooh, this guy just hooks me up with TM Power Punch. That is massive. I really needed that, actually, because we already know Brawly has been struggling in the sense that he doesn't have a fighting move. And now we can give him power up punch. Probably one of the better moves he could get. So I'm all about that. Good stuff, Brawly. I think it's time we say goodbye to Rock Tomb. 
and we'll keep the rest. Ooh, and charge beam as well. Oh my goodness, they're giving me everything in this place. Ooh, this guy just gave me a freeze orb. If a Pokemon holds a frozen orb during battle, it gets frostbitten. Interesting. Will you give me the other one? Oh, he, he doesn't. So I can make it so my Pokemon gets frozen in battle if I wanted to. I'm assuming there's some sort of a mechanic like guts or actually for a physical attacker, frostbitten would be really good because it doesn't really matter if you are, you know, you have a special attack drop. So that actually could be really, really cool. Oh, if I have a Cubone, he'll give me a Marowak. Oh, I wish I, wish I had a Cubone right now. Um, but, and I just got a Twisted Spoon as well. So I do have some Pokemon that could benefit from that. And again, if I have a Guts Pokemon, we can utilize that too. Oh, this is awful, completely awful. Team Arsenic has gone and attacked our bank while the officers of our city were away. And just when the champion left, this is a nightmare. You're a trainer, please help us. Our bank is on the right on the top left corner of the city. This is probably the bank. I gotta go to the bank here. Uh, yep, I guess that's where I'm headed. So let's see here. I guess B drive is okay in the front. Um, I'll probably end up facing some poison types though, but yeah, he'll probably be all right. Hurry and hand us that cash or else. Wait, what? How did the kid get in here? You look like you're in for trouble. That Brad, he's the one of the kids who gave me my partner back in trouble in Shiro. You looking to play hero on us or something, punk? Stop talking to him and get rid of the kid before our commander shows up. Come on, brat. All right, let's see what you got, man. Team Arsenic Grunt's got a Hound Hour. Eh. I have Hidden Force Rock. I'll go for it. I just one-shot him. We take those. What else you got? And a Zubat. I have Hidden Force Rock. You're going too. Let's go, baby. Good, good, good fight. We'll take it. B-Drive doing work. And now I gotta battle the second grunt. What do you have? A Zubat? Uh, I think I know exactly what to do here. Yes. Level 25. Wants to learn Toxic Spikes. Mmm. Very tempting. I, ah, dude. That's tough. I feel like for a gym battle, it's so valuable. I want to keep Felstinger on this thing so badly. I think for now, I'm going to get rid of... Oh, I think... I think I got to pass, dude. I think I got to pass. I think this thing is... He's, he's really good offensively. And I think it's a mistake for me to try to focus on making him something other than that. Even though Toxic Spikes is really good. Like, getting Felstingers off has already won us fights, so... Yeah, I feel like it's it's really good. So, oh boy. Is this kid seriously giving my whole team of grunts trouble? That's so darn annoying. I'm Lorette, one of Team Arsenic's commanders, and you are? You know, I know your face here. No, it doesn't matter. Our boss has said take out anyone who crosses us, no matter what. I'll make you sleep with the fishes for your insolence. All right, let's see how tough this boss is, because those grunts were easy. This is Arsenic Admin Lorraine, or Lorette, rather, and she's going to lead it off with a Scraggy. Does it have Intimidate? It does. Okay. So... A fairy move would be good. I don't have any of those. Um, mirror could be okay here. I also have luck to come in and just go for an aerial ace, which could do big damage. And I also have shrimp if I want to just intimidate it. So I'm afraid of a rock moves, but I'm going to go shrimp because I can just bounce. And I think the intimidate is worth just in case it's like a setup Pokemon. Let's see. It's going to go for thief. I don't even have an item, so that's fine. I think I just bounce. I don't really think it's gonna go for headbutt and miss and then I think my bounce just knocks it out It does sweet and shrimp is still at good health so I can switch if I need to What else you got two Pokemon left a lie part um, I mean luck is really good here Brawly's really good. I think I just go Brawly Cuz Brawly can come in go for fake out and then power up punch. There's a fake out against me I'll fake out and then I'll power up punch. Let's get it. Pursuit. That's gonna do like seven. Yeah, power punch may just one shot. Almost, but then I get another one, so it's fine. Pursuit again. Brawly's just really good here. I think Brawly's gonna be really important to have. I'm gonna face a lot of dark types. I'll take it. And then what else you got? Mandibuzz. Okay, so that's not a situation where I can do what I was just doing. Um. Ooh, Mandibuzz is good against me. So, I just got rid of Rock Tomb, too. All right. Um, 
I have to figure out if it's physical or special. So let's go shrimp first to intimidate, and then I can snarl it otherwise. Let's see if he's physical or special. He's physical, it seems. So he goes for pluck. That's fine. I can actually just dragon rage twice. I need three. Yeah, we're chilling, dude. Shrimp is so good. Shrimp is so good. Intimidate is so good. Ah, uh, we're chilling, man. Give me all that XP from Mandibuzz. 25 for shrimp. Brawly gets some love, and we beat the admin. Let's go. For one of Arsenic's commanders to be beaten by a kid, how disgraceful. This place is useless to us. Grunts, we're gonna retreat. And you know you're burning the wrong bridges. You'll regret you ever made me mad, punk. Oh, you did it! You drove those Arsenic goons away! Thank you so much! We're eternally grateful to you. This isn't much compared to what you've done for us, but you may find use for this item. The amulet coin, which I'll be honest, I'm pretty hyped about because money in this game has been a little tricky to come by. So I think giving it to shrimp will be really good since he's in almost every battle anyway. And I'll talk to all the people here and see if there's anything I missed. So we just found some charty berries, which are for rock moves. Making me wonder if the next gym is actually going to be um, rock type, even though we just faced ground, which would be kind of weird. But we're in the Adamantine Desert, which is a new location. I never ended up running into my rival again, which is weird. It makes me think I missed her. I don't know. Ooh, Wild Charmander. Uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I figured I'd try to grab my encounter in the grass here. And I like me a Wild Charmander. Oof. I'm a big Charizard guy, as you guys probably know. Hmm, that's tricky, man. So these meteors here in the desert are to change the form of Deoxys. I'm just checking around in the grass, or in kind of the, the sand here, to see if there's different encounters. Uh, I think the Charmander is the play. There's Sand Isle. I found a Trap Inch. It was a Bug-type Trap Inch, which was kind of interesting. If the next gym is indeed uh, gonna be Rock, I should probably be prepared for that with a Ground-type, but at the same time, Charmander's really cool, but I don't see myself using him, so... Rhyhorn would be very good. Uh, that's definitely an appealing option. I'm gonna look around, see where the luck brings me. Oh, it's Alice! Hey, Drive, looks like you're struggling to get through the desert! Uh, how strong did your Pokémon get? Mind if you show me. Okay, so we finally found Alice. She's got four Pokémon, leading it off with a Mimikyu! Uh... Okay! <laughs> um... Ooh, I, I feel like we go Pyre predicting the fairy move. Shadow Sneak, okay. Let's see if we can break this thing's disguise. Oh, that's gonna be a little tricky. Um, I think we definitely just Flame Wheel to break its disguise. Get rid of that and then maybe go Gyarados. He does have disguise damage. He does take a Draining Kiss, so I actually feel like having Pyre out here isn't terrible. Just for that alone. We're gonna both take sand damage, and I'm gonna actually flame wheel, see how much it does. I get a burn, which is so big. Let's go. Actually massive. That basically means I can whittle this thing down and not have to worry. That burn is huge. Flame wheel comes off again. I am now boosted. Surprised that didn't KO. But the sand will, I'm gonna have to switch out, but I at least got rid of the mimic use. That's one down. Okay, what else we got? A Staravia. Uh, okay, um, I don't do very well against Pokemon like Staravia. I'll go Mirror, so I can go for Fake Out, and then maybe some Snarls. Here's a Return, we dodge, beautiful. Okay, um, I think I go for Fake Out for sure. I do have Power Up Punch. So I can start power up punching it if I want to, and I have Shell Bell as well. I can also Snarl, but I feel like it's gonna be physical. So part of me likes two po- uh, I think- I think- I think you Snarl. Here comes the Aerial Ace. I take it pretty well, Snarl comes off. One more Snarl definitely gets the KO here, so we should be okay. I get a little bit of health back with Shell Bell, and then I'm gonna finish him off with the Snarl here. I don't really wanna switch. I'll take another Aerial Ace, but we know we can eat this. And I get rid of Staravia, so it's two down. All right. Um, let's see what else you got. Got me nervous here. The Sand's not helping either. I feel like she's gonna have something really good. A Grottle, ooh, it looks so good. And of course, I just used my Pokemon that would be good against Grottle. Um, 
Shrimp coming in and getting an Intimidate off here feels really worthwhile. So let's do that. And then I probably switch him out into the B. Let's just get an Intimidate off. He could have a Rock move, but I think hopefully he goes for a Ground move. He actually goes for the Seed Bomb, which does a decent chunk. Um, I could bounce, but I actually think the play is we go B-Drive. Because B-Drive can threaten with a big Bug Bite. He goes for Curse, which is fine, honestly. Gets a Speed Drop, gets an Attack Boost. That's going to neutralize the Intimidate I just did. I've seen two of his moves. One of them is probably a Ground move. Maybe Leech Seed. I think Bug Bite does a lot. I think it's still a 2 KO. It is. Does he have a Berry? No Berry. Goes for Takedown. This is neutral. Big damage. Luckily for us, we're fine. Um... I think he's in Fell Stinger range. I'm going for it. And I get it. So now I'm at plus two, I think. Sharply, yeah, I think it's two, not three. And almost level 26. Brawly wants to learn Vacuum Wave. He's definitely better on the physical side. Unfortunately, it would have been better if it was Mach Punch. And what's next? Do I one-shot it is the question. It's Growlithe. We do not one-shot Growlithe, no. Okay, so we have to switch. Shrimp, very good here. Intimidate's really nice, and then we can actually just go for a water move, and I think we're okay in this fight. But definitely a tough one. Fire Fang. No burns. No burns is good. I'm faster, and I can go for the Hidden Force Water here. What a huge pickup that we have Hidden Force Water. Let's go. I wonder if Hidden Force changes if you give them IV buffs. It probably doesn't, right? Because it's not based on IVs anymore. I don't know. But we beat Alice, luckily. Hey, did you know that daycare center is near G Galia City? Trainers sometimes leave their Pokemon there to be raised by the caregivers or breed for stronger Pokemon. Uh, maybe this item will come in handy. The Oval Charm. Very nice. It's said to increase the chance of an egg being found at the daycare. Galia has a gym too. I guess that's why you're headed there. I'll see you later. Sweet. So we get through that. I need to heal up a little bit. I think we're in okay shape, but I think I'm going to actually backtrack and heal up. Hey, Shiny Sandile. 67 encounters. Not too shabby. We'll hit him with a little fake out action. Almost knock him out, and then we'll catch him and press onward here. Not too bad. Sandile's a good mon. Obviously, Crocodile's good. So, uh, Casey Jones makes a return. Um, trap now, which is less than ideal. Hopefully, I catch this thing before I die. That would be swell. All right, well, we're not dying today, at least. Casey Jones, joining the squad. You guys, legends know about Casey Jones. This one probably doesn't have huge power, but still solid. And it looks like our journey in the desert is gonna take us into this rune area, so this little uh, kind of tunnel. I don't know, I don't have a flash right now. I guess I could give him flash, but uh, Yamask. Ooh, I would, I would honestly very much so love a Yamask. I wonder if we can get Rune Regis in this game. Oh, Gibble's in here too, no way. A Gibble would be pretty massive, I would say. Ooh, I got an Armor Fossil. I think that's for Shieldon, isn't it? And the Skull Fossil for Kranidos. So I've got my uh, choice of the fossils. I'm gonna only allow myself to revive one of them at some point, but any one of those could be really good. I kind of think that getting uh, Shieldon could be really sick in this game. I think, is that the end? I don't know where I am. Oh, the two Pokemon that controlled life and death, if they felt into someone's control, could that someone gain the power to bring order into this world? It's you, you're the child who stopped a group of arsenic grunts from robbing a bank. It took a child to bring justice upon a few criminal lackeys, something which might not even the police were competent enough to do. Still, you are to be praised for your actions. Do you know what these ruins are? History indicates that these stone tablets were written by a society tens of thousands of years old. It is believed that these writings are praises made to honor Pokemon with great power. Power that they gain by either absorbing life or bestowing it. What I believe is the people of this society had more respect for those Pokemon. They worshiped them out of fear. It was the fear of their power that caused people to obey and praise those Pokemon. It was what created order between them. That's what I believe. Anyway, my name's Xenon. I'm a Pokemon trainer. Your name's A-Drive. I want to see how powerful you and your Pokemon are. Oh, lovely. I get to battle Xenon now. All right, he's only got one Pokemon and it's a type null. So that's the thing. I'm gonna fake out. 
Um, kind of want to just power punch or rock doom to slow him down, but he, he might, he might not be able to be slowed down. I'm gonna rock doom to slow him down just in case. Okay, so I did slow him down. He's got scary phase. He's gonna slow me down more. That's fine though. Um, I could probably take one hit, so I'll just power a punch. He's not a normal type. He's gonna crush claw. Gonna power punch again. Double hit. Uh, we're still alive. So two of his moves don't hit mirrors. So I think I just go mirror. Crush claw doesn't hit me. Yeah, I mean, go for fake out and then snarl maybe. Yeah, he might not even be able to touch mirror, which could be kind of good for me. Uh, drop his special attack. Metal sound. Yeah, he actually can't touch me. He has two normal moves and then two like affecting like status type moves. So we're chilling. Mirror taking down a type null. Uh, no complaints on my end. Nice level too. 25 wants to learn shadow sneak. Let's get it. I think we get rid of hidden force for shadow sneak, even though hidden force is stronger. I can always give it back to him later, but the priority is really nice. So we beat Xenon. I understand what happened in Walsh and City was no fluke. You're a talented trainer and I sense no evil intent from you. Excuse me, your Pokemon are harmed. Let me heal them for you. I found this Pokemon in the desert not too long ago. It was weakened when I battled, but I managed to nurse it back to health. Don't consider it a bribe or anything, but judging by your acts, I think you're training worthy of raising it. And it gives me a Larvesta, but I can't Shawnee hunt it. So I'll name it Helios, but I, I didn't like save the Shawnee hunt it. So I don't get the Shawnee hunt that Larvesta, which is, Kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I've done over 100 encounters and I'm not having any luck. So I think what I'll do is we'll pick up this shiny hunt here in this kind of rune area uh, for the next episode. So show some love guys, hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Eternal Order. We got a lot done today. We had a lot of crucial team fights. We saved a bank and everything in between. And hopefully my shiny luck turns around and maybe that Larvesta we got will be shiny in the PC as well. Pretty unlikely, but who knows. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Like it if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Eternal Order. 105 encounters. No lucky gibble. We'll get it tomorrow. <laughs>